This is Toll-like Receptor 2 by Jessica Almada and Richard Diaz. There are 10 expressed TLR genes in humans. Each TLR is devoted to recognizing a distinct set of molecular patterns that are not found in healthy vertebrae cells. These patterns are called PAMP, Pathogen Associated Molecular Pattern. TLRs are essentially sensors for microbes such as bacteria, fungi, and viruses. When a ligand or PAMP binds to TLR2 and another TLR such as TLR1 and 6, it forms a combination of proteins called a heterodimer. When a combination of TLR1 and 2 or TLR1 and 6 bind, their cytoplasmic tails or TIR domains interact and signal other molecules that form several products. The ligands that bind to TLR2 to activate it consist of several different types of PAMPs found on the surface of different microorganisms such as lipopeptides, zymosin, and lipomenans. Each PAMP is specific to different classes of microorganisms. There is a cascade of events that occur after TLR2 forms a heterodimer with TLR1 or TLR6, which pretty much means various proteins and other molecules inside the cell are binding to each other. This is like passing on a message within the cell that there is a foreign pathogen in the body. Eventually, the message gets to NFKB, which is a transcription factor. Transcription factors are protein complexes that have the power to enter the nucleus of the cell and turn DNA genes on and off by simply binding. When NFKB binds to a DNA strand, this signals DNA to transcribe different messengers that will send out an immune response causing inflammation. These are pro-inflammatory cytokines which will activate cells of your immune system and cause inflammation. Another transcription factor is activator protein, or AP1, that also signals for cytokines to be made for an inflammatory response. A third transcription factor, called interferon regulatory factor, or INF, will turn on the gene for interferon to be produced. Unlike bacteria and fungi, viruses need to use our DNA to replicate but interferon inhibits virus replication in cells and it will recruit immune cells to kill the infected cells.